Hello everyone. We are going to solve one more problem involving trigonometric ratios. We mean given that tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees and we have been asked to find the value of a. And additional information which has been given to us is 2a is an acute angle or 2a is less than 90 degrees. Now let's uh, go about solving this problem. On the face of it, we are, what is the relationship which we know between these two ratios, tan of any angle and cot of any angle? We only know that tan is the reciprocal of cot or tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta. This is not going to help us to solve this problem. So we will have to uh, consider something else. Now let us consider this right angle triangle for which the trigonometric ratios have been defined basically. So, this is a right angle triangle. Uh, let me call it ABC. It is right angled at B and let us assume that C is equal to theta degrees. Now, if C is theta, if angle C is theta, what do we know about the third angle? Since the sum of the angles A plus B plus C is 180 degrees, the third angle would be a complementary angle of theta or 90 minus theta only then the three angles would sum up to 180 degrees. So now let us try to find relationship between the tan of theta and the cot of uh, uh, any other angle like we will uh, try to arrive at a relationship. So how is tan theta defined in any right angle triangle? It is the length of the opposite side by the adjacent side. And in this particular triangle, it is equal to AB by BC. And now, what is cot of 90 minus theta? Cot of 90 minus theta is equal to the adjacent by opposite. The adjacent side to 90 minus theta divided by the length of the opposite side. And the adjacent side to 90 minus theta is AB and the opposite is BC. So, in any right angle triangle, we have a relationship between the tan of an angle and the cotangent of its supplementary angle. They are equal. And similarly, you can also verify that cot of an angle, the cot theta is equal to tan of 90 minus theta. This you can verify using the same diagram and we have already done these two uh, the relationship between our trigonometric ratios of complementary angles exclusively in a video in our math decoder channel. I will provide the link in the description and uh, since now we have a relationship between these two let us try to solve for this sum. Let us try to find what is A. Now let me rewrite the problem here tan 2A it has been given to us that tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees. Now, since we know the relationship between tangent and uh, cotangent, now let us use this tan of theta is equal to cot of 90 minus theta. So, I can rewrite tan 2a as cotangent of 90 minus 2a and it is justified if I write it because it was already specified that 2a is less than 90 degrees. So, I can write cot of 90 degrees minus 2a I am not going to get any negative angle. So, since uh, what have I done tan of 2a is cot of 90 minus 2a yeah right. So, if I name this as 1 and this as 2. Now, since here tan 2a is cot of 90 minus 2a and an equation 2 tan 2a is cot of a minus 18 degrees, I can equate the uh, cotangent ratios of both sides, the right hand sides of both equations cot of a minus 18 is equal to cot of 90 minus 2a and since both the trigonometric ratios are one and the same, we can equate the angles a minus 18 degrees is equal to 90 degree minus 2a and now we have an equation with one variable which is a and we can solve for a. Just let us bring all the variables to one side of the equation a plus 2a is equal to 90 plus 18 or 3a is equal to 
108 degrees and hence we have a to be equal to 108 by 3 or 3 3 is a 9 3 6 side in so 36 degrees now we have solved for a and a is equal to 36 degrees i hope you followed this problem thank you